OSU has had a long history of hops research, dating back to the 1930s. There's been a USDA hop breeding program here since then, and so there's this con natural connection with OSU and hops. When the craft brewing industry sort of first took off back in the 80s, uh, one of the ways that they differentiated themselves was with the type of hops they used, and they hit upon a particular hop that wasn't being used at the time by the large lager producers, and this hop was called Cascade. It was developed here at OSU. It was developed by uh, Al Honnold at, uh, at Oregon State, um, um, and it was, on the, it was a hop that was left on the shelf. It was actually a hybrid that was left on the shelf for a long time. It was kind of shopped around to the big brewers, and they kind of said, eh, too much aroma for, a, you know, for, for us. We don't, we're not really interested in a hop that's that aromatic. And of course, you know, that's, that's, what, you know, that's what craft brewers are all, all about. And so when the craft brewing industry took off and came to OSU looking for new hop varieties, Alice had tried Cascade, and it sort of stuck. It's that intense, citrusy, fruity, piney quality that is really distinctive of beers that are made from this part of the country. It's really been, I think, the heartblood of the craft brewing industry for a long time. The development of that variety of, of Cascade has increased brewers desire to push the envelope of what hop aroma can be and so we're really getting more aroma forward hops coming out of um, Oregon State University there's a big push right now. The, the Northwest brewers get together every six months and so we were just together a few weeks ago and the same guys that were like the, the guys that broke ground in Portland, Widmers and the folks at Bridgeport and elsewhere are, are still coming to these meetings. Well, that was the, you know that was really the infancy. That was the uh, that was the beginning. And here I was. I had kind of a front row seat because I had my I had a job, a solid job at, at Blitz. At the same time, you know, I, I'm kind of you know kind of looking out of my you know looking out of the corner of my eye and seeing these craft breweries coming up. A, a beer with 30 IBUs in it. That's crazy. You know, at, at Blitz, most of the beers were you know 15 to 20 IBUs. You know, not as bitter. Um, so it was really a different a different kind of brewing. It was a whole different kind of thing. So I got the front row seat for the time that I was at Blitz and got to kind of watch the craft brewer industry kind of grow up around us and uh, really become a force in the Northwest. 